गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ पोटेंशियोमीटर एज यूजिंग द पोटेंशियोमीटर फॉर कैलिब्रेटिंग वोल्ट मीटर एंड एमीटर नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ पोटेंशियोमीटर फॉर मेजरमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस सो हेयर इज द सर्किट डायग्राम ऑफ मेजरमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस विद यूजिंग द पोटेंशियोमीटर here this r is a unknown resistance connected in series with a standard resistance s so here the current through the circuit is controlled with the help of the rheostat here the two pole double throw switch is used here for measuring of a voltage across this r and this standard resistance s so this switch when put to the first position first one and one dash the unknown resistance of to the potentiometer is connected and the voltage drop across this r is measured and when the switch is thrown to this position two and two dash the potentiometer is connected to this standard resistance s where the poten potential drop across this s is measured now we can see this vr will give the ir and this is the voltage across this unknown resistance r and when we have thrown the switch to 2 and 2 dash position we will get vs is equals to is where i is the constant part because we have adjusted or controlled the current through this rheostat this is constant term so by this 5.11 and 5.12 will get vr by vs is equals to r by s so our unknown resistance r comes out to be vr by vs multiply by s so the value of this standard resistance as is accurately known so the value of r can also be accurately known and the accuracy of this method depends upon the assumption that there is no change in the value of current as we have discussed here when the two different measurements are taken we have taken i as a constant and this is of the most important assumption and the setting we have done for that so therefore a stable dc supply is absolute absolutely necessary for this the difficulty of ensuring this condition is the chief disadvantage of this method because if there there is any kind of disturbance in the in this current i the proper ratio will not be obtained and i will not get get similar similar and this will not get cancelled out when we'll do the ratio of these two so this is the kind of disadvantage too if there is no stabilized dc source or not a constant current the resistance of the standard resistor s which must be accurately known should be of the same order of of as of our resistance under the measurement the ammeter inserted in the circuit is for indicating whether the current flowing through the circuit is within the capacity of resistor or not otherwise the exact value of current flowing need to be not to be known so this ammeter is just for like watching the value of approximate current across this r and s the proper exact value of this i need not to be known for our purpose of measurement of resistance it is desirable that the current flowing through the circuit should be adjusted that the value of voltage drop across each of the resistor is in the order of 1 volt the potentiometer method of measurement of resistance is suitable for the measurement of low resistances now you can use this method for the basically use for the measurement of low resistances so we have seen the measurement of resistance using potentiometer now coming to the measurement of power in measurement of power we have a circuit like this the circuit 
for the measurement of power with potentiometer is shown here where you can see the potentiometer is here a supply is there and the load is connected here we have made our arrangement like that our potentiometer have double through switch in which first position is connected with this standard resistance s1 or you can say this and this s1 is connected with the load and the other terminals of this potentiometer is connected to the volt ratio box so whatever will, will be the output voltage across this load will be indicated by this volt ratio box and it, it is measured by the potentiometer setting so the current in the circuit can be computed from the voltage drop across the standard resistance and the voltage across the load that can be calculated from the our volt ratio box output terminal to the potentiometers so there will be a two kind of reading using this potentiometer first one is vs uh, what, what, that is the reading of potentiometer when the this switch is thrown to first position and s is connected standard resistance s is connected and second reading will be vr that will be a reading of potentiometer when the connected when this potentiometer is connected across the volt ratio box so by this potentiometer we will get two readings vs and vr so the current through the load will be this current through the load will be vs divided by s okay and the voltage across the load will be v is equals to k vr where k is a multiplying factor of the volt ratio box here so the total power consumed is equals to v and i i will have from this and v is v is equals to k vr so putting the value of v and i we are having the total power consumed is k vr multiplied by vs by s so the value of s is known as it is a standard resistance and uh, the value of k is known from the volt ratio box we have to find the two voltages that is vr and vs so the total power consumed will be will be k vr vs divided by s so by using the potentiometer we can find the value of this power okay so in this lecture we have seen the application of DC potentiometer for the measurement of resistance and for the measurement of power. In next lecture we will see the application of AC potentiometer for the measurement of self inductance. And before that we will see the one more application of DC potentiometer that is calibration of watt meter in next lecture only followed by this lecture. So for now I am ending this lecture here only till then continue your lectures stay healthy stay safe.